Hi everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have a bedtime stretching routine to help you sleep. All you need is some comfortable clothing and somewhere on the floor where you can get down, maybe on a carpet. If you have all hardwood, grab a mat. You might even be able to do this right in bed. Um, it's up to you. So as long as you're comfortable, I'll get my timer on. We'll go ahead and get started. Alright, we're going to get started here with a kneeling hip flexor. So you can come on out, put your left leg in front, and then we're just going to lean really far forward. You can rest your hands very lightly on your knee, there should be no pressure. Or you can come down and put your hands on the, on the, um, what is this, the ground <laughs> in front of you. Or if you're, if you're feeling, you know, cozy and ready for bed, then you can be doing this on your bed, it's up to you. Um, I like to keep this up here, it just forces a little more stretch through the front of my hip flexor. So we're going to go through a series of stretches and we'll make sure that we do the left side and the right side equally. Uh, we're doing them for, um, gosh, I think we're doing them for 50 seconds each. Don't quote me on that, I'll have to see when the next one starts. Um, if I ever forget to cue you, look to the left hand corner of your screen and it will show a preview of what's coming up next. We will have 10 seconds between to sort of get into the next position. So here's our 10 seconds right here. And we're going to switch off and we're going to do that hip flexor stretch on the right side. So get your right leg up. And then lean forward. And yes, these are 50 seconds each. I was correct. Not always correct. But I was that time. So again, really leaning forward and feeling that stretch through the front of the thigh there. Stretching is sort of a wonderful thank you to your body after it's worked hard for you all day or after a workout um, or when it's feeling tight and stressed. Yeah, it's a very important part of being healthy and active. Um, it get, as we get older, we get less and less flexible. But the more we stretch, the more we can hold on to the flexibility we have and improve where we are. So here's your 10 second rest. We're going to do a cat cow. So we're just going to get on hands and knees here. This is a yoga type stretch. Okay, so we're going to arch our back way down and lift the chin up. And then arch it way up and let the head fall. And we're just going to sort of go through this at your own pace. This is not something you're trying to rush and see how many you can squeeze in. This is to feel the spine releasing all the way from the tailbone to the crown of the head. It actually feels really, really lovely. Just a few more seconds here. Great job. Next up, we have a, it's either a hurdler or a hamstring stretch. So you're going to kick out one leg, it doesn't matter which one, we're going to do the other. And then you're going to reach for those toes. And you should feel a nice stretch in the hamstring, sort of, I guess it's underneath your leg, the back of your leg right now. And you feel it nicely along the back and side here. If you want, you can go overhead if you want to focus more on the side stretch. If you can't reach all the way to your toes, that's fine, just wherever you can. I know it can feel like we're holding some of these stretches for a really long time. It takes time for your brain to send the signal to your leg and your leg or your muscles, any muscles, to respond and release. If we do them too quickly, we don't receive much benefit at all from the stretch. Oops, this is still our break. So we're going to switch off and do the other side. Okay, so reach out and lean over to the other leg. And let's give that a nice stretch out as well. Again, if you want a different arm position, you can do that. Whatever works for you.
stretching out the body is such a calming thing to do. It can really help with your quality of sleep. So if you find that you're having trouble sleeping, um, try stretching before bed on a regular basis. I have some friends who suffer from insomnia and in the night if they can't sleep, they'll even get up and do some stretching then. Okay, now we're gonna do a seated twist. So I like to just pull one leg up and hook my elbow over that knee and then twist and look over my shoulder. It's a nice twist through my torso. Um, yeah, so if you find yourself at 3 in the morning and can't sleep and you're wondering what to do, instead of flicking on the TV, um, just a few stretches. Um, you can twist from side to side. If you have your phone handy, you can look up this. Go simply work out and follow along. See if your phone has one of those um, blue light filters because you don't want to be staring at a screen and then it wakes you up even more. So now we're going to switch off and the other way. So I'm going to put my right leg up. I'm going to be very rude and turn away from you for this stretch. Sorry about that. I'm going to hook my left elbow over my right knee and twist and look over my right shoulder. Try and take deep breaths while you're doing your stretches. Less than 10 seconds here. Good. Moving on, we're going to do a seated side bend. So you can just, I can face forward for this. You're just going to put your left arm out to the side a bit for balance and then just lean over that side. And again, that left arm is there to support you. Nothing is meant to be, you know, very strenuous on the muscles here. You're not trying to tone them or build them or strengthen them. You're saying thank you and loosening them and letting them relax. So if you need to come all the way down to that elbow for that, that is fine. After a while through these stretches, you'll feel a nice sort of sense of calm come over your body. So of course we're going to get in position to do that on the other side in these breaks. You, know, you can roll your neck a bit or roll your shoulders around. Whatever sort of helps to loosen you up. Again, remember we've got that right hand there to support us. You can go down to the elbow if that feels like a better stretch or if it's supporting your weight more. Then we're just going to, I'm going to turn off to the side here, we're going to do a toe touch stretch. So you want those legs long out in front of you, arms up, and just like you're closing a lid, bend over. If you can reach all the way through to your toes, that's wonderful. If you can't, it doesn't really matter, just reach as far as you can. Let that lower back release, those hamstrings release. You may find as you hold the stretches that after a while you can go a little deeper and push a little more. Just watch that you're not bouncing through anything.
Next up, we have a piriformis stretch or deep glute, some people call it. So we're going to lie down, cross your left leg over, a figure four, and sort of wind your fingers through there. And then behind the knee, not, not over top of the shin, and pull that leg in. deep breaths. We're not going to be sitting up again. We're going to be finishing off with some lying down stretches, so just get comfortable. Okay, so put that leg down. Take your right leg and cross it over so you're ready. Feed your arms on either side, behind the knee, and pull in. I find when I'm doing lying stretches especially, that it helps if I close my eyes. Just helps with the calm and the relaxation and the deep breathing. Next up, we're going to do a supine spinal twist. So legs out long, pull your left leg in, hold it there for a minute, and then pull the left leg over the body. Put your right arm out, or sorry, your left arm out, and twist your head to look towards that left arm. So roll back to center, both legs out straight, and get ready by pulling your right leg in and just holding it there for a minute. And then pull that right leg over the body, right arm out, twist your upper body to look towards that right hand. and roll back to center and we have one more stretch here and we're going to do a knee hug so all you're going to do is pull those knees in wrap your arms around them and if you want you can sort of roll around on that spine or you can be perfectly still if you want to tuck that head in for a bit you can I like to sort of massage my back a bit by rolling. And then coming to find stillness.
Excellent. I'll leave you here for today. Hopefully you feel nice and relaxed and ready for a good night's sleep. Come and see me again soon.